Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress JS and REST API tutorial and this is our second part. So guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions that we have made for WordPress customization. So in the last video session guys, we have seen that what is an API, what is about JSON data and what is the concept of REST API. Several things we have discussed in our previous video sessions and also as well as we have discussed that what actually we have planned for this video session series. Okay, so according to that plan guys, we need to install called JSON plugin installation. Okay, we are going to install JSON plugin API. Okay, and also we will see about its provided methods about the concept of APIs. Okay, so just go to WordPress setup. So this is the blank WordPress setup that I have made for this video session series. Okay, so just click on plugin section. Just click on add new. We are going to install called JSON API plugin. So just click in here and let's say that JSON API. Okay, this plugin actually we are going to install in our this WordPress setup. So basically, if we scroll down, And this is the plugin that we need to install in our WordPress setup. So just click on install now. And now guys, this is a message that actually I am getting. Okay. So also I, we are going to discuss about fixing this issue to install the plugin into our WordPress setup. Okay. You also have seen anywhere about these issues. Okay. So to fix that issue, just go to your WordPress setup. This issue basically arises when we install any theme, any plugin to our WordPress setup and it asks about our FTP detail. Okay, so without going to FTP details, if you want to install any theme, any plugin to our WordPress setup, so how can we do that? Just go to WordPress setup, just click on WP config, just click on that and now you need to add a single line of code into this file. Okay. So let me add that. So let's say that define write fs underscore method. Okay, and all we have to pass this constant to a value called direct. Just save this file. If you have saved this file, just refresh this page once more. After writing this key term that is fs method direct, it will not ask about the FTP details just click on install now and now you can see that it is it is stalling now okay at this stage it didn't ask about the ftp details this is because we have passed this parameter like fs method and this value contains the direct value okay all we have to you write this code into your wp config.php file okay so just go to browser and click on activate button to activate this plugin Okay, so just I have clicked on. So basically plugin has installed successfully as you can see. So just go to settings section and in this settings section, this plugin actually adds into this setting panel as you can see called JSON API. So just click on that. And now this JSON API settings as you can see in this dashboard, it contains several methods. Okay, like post, respond, widgets and core. So basically JSON API provides four different panels of these APIs. Okay. So if we want to activate about the post section right now, it is not enabled. As you can see, it is not enabled. So to activate those methods also just click on activate. And now this also has been activated. Okay. So all these methods provided by JSON API and basically it gives about the JSON format of data and it makes the connectivity to our application. Okay, this is called an API. So just click on that. Let's suppose that we want to retrieve all the posts of this WordPress setup that we have made. So just click on this link, get post. So now this is the URL basically returns all the posts that we have created to our post sections. 
okay so basically in this post sections we have created two post okay so by the help of this JSON API plugin actually if we will use this route means get post and this is the route of the API called this is our site URL slash API slash get post okay API is the key actually defined right here if you want to change this key then you can change it also okay so now this is our API link which basically uses an application and retrieve these informations so if we copy these informations let's open JSON editor online just click on this link and let's say that uh, let's make some formatting and this basically contains two posts okay just click on that and now the zero index information contains about called simple post okay and also in this index number one it contains the information called of hello world okay so basically JSON API plugin guys provides several types of methods actually by the help of these methods about its core methods as well as its post methods we can create our post as well update post as well and delete post okay all we have to do we have to use the link of these api's and also it provides about the core informations okay so what actually we are going to do in this video session series in our upcoming video we will make a small application and by the help of these routes as you can see we will see all these informations to our application okay so for that what we have to do we have to use this url to our application okay this URL provides all these informations about post okay so if you want to retrieve instead of this post if you want to retrieve the informations about called git post means individual post so just click on this icon and now if you want to retrieve as you can see status error include ID or slug where in your request it says that we have to include ID or slug into this right into the this URL okay so if we want to retrieve the information called ID number 4 okay we want to retrieve the ID number 4 information so just go to this and type 4 into this URL and this is the ID of the post so just click on this URL and now okay this is because we have used the four value direct so just get rid of that and let's say that ID equal to 4 okay so basically typing this for information gives you all the informations about only a single post and this is post ID 4 okay also if you want to retrieve the post informations called uh, what will be the ID of second post to just go into this section and let's say that of ID 1 so just go to URL and type ID equal to let's say that instead of 4 1 so basically it contains all the informations about with the post ID 1 okay so basically these all plugins actually guys we are going to use all these methods to our application and by using these methods we will create any post from that application as well as we will, will delete update and all these methods we will use okay so what will happen if you want to create a post by the help of this URL only okay means we want to create any of a single post without making an application so how can we do that so just click on this create post method as you can see that it must include a nonce value to create post okay so basically the key right here that is nonce what is nonce so basically it provides a unique number to protect our URLs okay so if we go to a small definition of nonce then we can see that a nonce is a number used once this is the means as you can see this is the full form of this key okay number used once to help to protect URLs and forms from certain type of misuse okay so these unique numbers provided by the called get nonce method of core API method okay so if you go to the JSON API available methods inside this core methods you can see that get nonce is a method okay so basically get nonce method provides a unique number to protect our URLs or you can see that you means if you want to create any post then we will actually generate a nonce value from this route 
So how can we create a nonce value by using this route? The simple steps that the error says we need to include controller and methods into our vars. Okay. So basically, just we need to go this JSON API settings and this is the controller. As you can see, this is our controller. So basically what we have to write, we have to write that controller equal to posts okay and also we want to include the method section as well so let's say method equal to create post okay because we want to create a post into this wordpress setup so create post is a method as you can see data manipulation methods for post and this is controller okay so basically when we hit enter then it returns our nonce value and this nonce value a unique number to create our post Okay, so how can we make use of this nonce value to use and create a post? So just make copy of this nonce value, open up in next tab, and let's say that let's say that nonce equal to this is the value that we have generated to our create post method. Okay, so to include nonce value, and let's say that we are going to create a post into this WordPress setup okay we are going to create a post into this wordpress setup so we want to include a title and the content as well okay so what actually we have to write we have to write here just append with ampersand symbol let's say that title equal to second post okay let's say second post by url and also just append with ampersand and let's say that content equal to simple post created by url just press enter and now as you can see the post has been created by using this nonce value and also by the help of this url okay all we have to pass the nonce value the title of our post and the content for our post so if you go to the wordpress setup just refresh this page so now you can see that status post by url and it is saved as a draft it is because we have not saved and we have not actually updated status equal to publish okay so just we are going to again this url and let's say that we are going to create a next post so just to get rid of all these sections again and let's say that nonce equal to this value and let's say that title equal to post again let's say again okay and just append with ampersand symbol and let's say that content equal to second post again and also we need to append a parameter called status and this time is status equal to publish okay status equal to publish just click on enter by clicking on enter now if you go to the post section just refresh this page and we have created this post okay so just click on this edit icon so these are the informations that we have actually passed from the urls okay so from upcoming videos guys we will make a simple php application in which we will make our interface from where actually we will save our post create list as well as delete okay so all these methods provided by json api we are going to use from our upcoming videos okay so all these things we have seen that how can we install json api plugin how can we use make use of these methods also we have seen that how can we create or generate get nonce means nonce value for these routes and also we have created a simple post to our wordpress setup okay so how can we make use of these methods with a simple application how can we make use of these provided routes or these provided links to our application we will see in our upcoming videos okay so in this video session guys if you have any query just drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day